What do we know about plants? Wait, I got this one. Plants are autotrophs. That means... Actually, it's autotrophs. Trophs? Okay. Yeah. Plants are autotrophs. Yeah, okay. They make their own organic molecules rather than getting them by eating other organisms. Well, how do they make those organic molecules? Mm. Photosynthesis? You got it. Plants are multicellular. Oh, I got that one too. That means they're made up of more than one cell. Good. Plants are terrestrial. That is, they evolved on land. Excuse, isn't tight, isn't tight. No, wait, what'd you just say? Plants are terrestrial. That is, they evolved on land. You're telling me kelp and other seaweed are not plants? Well, they do use photosynthesis, and they resemble plants in some ways, but they're actually classified in the kingdom of protists. Protists? Beyond this, plants vary in their characteristics. So let's look at three major groups of plants. Let's go. Mosses are small plants with simple leaves. Every part of a moss plant must absorb water directly from its environment. In addition, when mosses reproduce, male sperm swim through a film of water in the environment to reach the eggs. Because of this, mosses can only live in moist habitats. Ferns can be identified by their feathery fronds. Unlike mosses, ferns have a vascular system. You can think of the vascular system as a sort of a plant circulatory system. The vascular system carries water up from the roots and nutrients down from the leaves. This allows ferns to reach larger sizes than mosses. However, they still have sperm that swim through the environment, so they also live in moist habitats. Seed plants are the largest group of plants. Like ferns, they have a vascular system. Instead of swimming sperm, though, seed plants use pollen to transport male sex cells to female eggs during reproduction. Seed plants also make seeds. A seed contains a plant embryo along with a food supply. There are two major groups of seed plants. Conifers, like redwoods and pines, use cones for reproduction. Flowering plants, such as oak trees, roses, and most of the plants we eat, use flowers for reproduction. To, to life. life.